Guys, we found the leak. We found the leak. In our attempt to fix this pond leak that we've got going on, I've got some tracer dye. This stuff, bright dyes. If this works, I'll uh, leave a link to this. We've got some dye filled balloons and our leak is at the bottom of the pond and spraying this dye on the surface of the pond, it doesn't sink fast enough to go find that. I'm gonna sink this, we got a mushroom sinker tied to a rope with a little basket, a little flower basket, jimmied on there. And we're gonna sink this down, guided by the underwater camera, stick this anchor right where we believe that water is escaping through the basin. We've got a weight that we're gonna sink down on this rope with some spikes on it to pop these dye filled balloons. But if this works, you saw it here first. Probably nothing quite as fancy as this contraption. Okay, so I've pedaled the boat out into the area that I've suspected the, the leak has been coming from, dropped the anchor down, knocked up a bunch of muck off of the pond bottom, and you can see the basket with the balloons that I've got steadied. The balloons I zip tied to the bottom just so that they'd stay in the basket. All right guys, so here's the deal. I've got our anchor line, which has our mushroom anchor, the blue one, that's got our dye filled balloons sitting at the bottom, positioned where I think the crack is. I've got a 10 pound weight plate on the top of some bird spikes. And I'm gonna lower these, this guy down right in line with our anchor and pop those dye filled balloons to release the dye and then track where that dye goes. Well, I tried it a couple times. Pop. If I had any slack in the anchor rope, I would miss with the spikes as you can see here. Aha, look at the dye. Yeah. So once the balloons popped with the dye, it released all of that dye right in the area of where the anchor was. I only popped two of the balloons with this, with this attempt. There's dye down there. Seeing if I could see any dye flow getting sucked down this crack. So that's where I popped it at. There's no dye sitting right next to, it's all moving. So there's no dye right at the anchor anymore. Which means it's moved away from it. In a previous attempt, I had tried to just spray this dye on the surface of the pond, but our pond is so deep at this point, 18, 19 feet is our deepest, and there's just too much water volume. There's not enough suction to suck the dye from the surface all the way down 18 feet deep. And so any way you can get your pond dye into the bottom couple feet of the water column, that's the ticket because these streams of dye led me away from where I originally thought. So, this thing's done its job. One didn't break, but that's okay. I know I don't. At this point, I had released the dye in the bottom. And that was the first big goal, is to be able to get the dye down into the bottom of the, the pond at that water level. And so now I pulled the anchor up and, and, and cut my tethers so that I could paddle around and then just follow this dye around the pond. And I quickly figured out that where I released the dye, it didn't stay there anymore. And so it was getting pulled somewhere else, which... Um, disproved my first theory but was also good because then it kind of led me into a different part of the pond and so i'm just pedaling back and forth trying to find this red dye and you'll see the fish if you're wondering um, the pond dye is safe for fish you can also see our walleyes here that's part of our pond project that's our big goal is to to raise walleyes and get them to spawn in our pond. So if you're coming up on our channel for the first time looking for leak abatement solutions, um, 
we've got that going on, but we're also raising walleyes and smallmouth and perch in our pond. And so I also found that one of our diffusers was actually flipped upside down, so I'll fix that later. It's interesting just to see how far this die traveled away from where I first popped it. I've been consulting with TJ Hudson at Hudland Management. I met him through the Pond Boss Forum, and I know he helps a lot of people nationwide with their pond projects. And we've been strategizing on how to get the pond die into the area to, to lead us to where the leak was. And so through this process, after some failed attempts, we kept getting closer and closer, and I had no idea how close I was getting. But guys, I just happened upon this crater. We've been looking for this leak for a year. And as you see, I put it in slow motion here. You can even see the silt and sand getting sucked down into there. It's clear that this is where the water is escaping the pond. That was not something that I was wanting to find, but super excited to find it because now we know exactly where the water is leaving. Now that's a huge, that's a huge hole. I would estimate maybe at the surface it's six to eight inches wide, that dark hole. And I, I flipped the camera in a vertical orientation to look straight down and then just trying to drift over it precisely. I didn't get right over it in this orientation, but um, able to go back and forth. And then I got the camera to tilt right down into the hole. And so it does choke down into, I don't know what that size is, maybe three, four inches. Um, but I don't know how far down, how deep that channel goes, but after a year of looking and all of our attempts, this pond dye led us into this area. I didn't get to see the dye getting sucked into this hole, but I didn't need to because that's where the water is leaving the pond. And even the fish like the current, you see the smallmouth getting down into that hole and then swimming out of it, kind of like water rushing into a, into a pond water leaving creates that same kind of current and attracts the fish apparently. And so with this new information, I was able to stick the buoy exactly where this leak is so we can focus our efforts all in this area. We need to get some aggregate sucked down into that hole. Polymer is not going to fill that hole just by itself and so we need something for it to grab onto and so now we're strategizing but super excited because we found the leak and now we know exactly the 10 square foot area that we need to focus all of our efforts on. So be sure to subscribe to our channel because we're going to over engineer this solution and we're going to bring you every step of the way. If you've been watching that's the spot and in fact that's probably the deepest pit that was dug last year it's probably the deepest spot in the pond which makes sense so thanks for watching this is an exciting day we feel like we're onto something here with our fancy contraption and the pond die we were able to locate the leak in just a day, um, not even that. And so thanks for your support and your cheering us on at home. We are on to the next phase in this saga, but we will get to the bottom of it because we got bigger fish to fry, literally. See you next time.